Alright guys, we're starting up this video in the water, already caught the live bait. Check this guy I caught while throwing it. It's a little mutton snapper, I believe. Baby mutton snapper. So we're gonna release him. Very beautiful, very in shallow space caught him. Can't use him for bait, we want to go to a monster. So I have my live bait up into the bottle today, sorry. So I'm gonna put so many bait in here to get easy access to them. All right, you too, take care. Right. So we have them in there. Oh, water. Let that float. To keep them alive too, you know? Have holes uh -huh. in the bottle, so. Yeah, it's all alive, well set up. We have a live bait in there. Thanks to this fella right here. Yeah. Come and yeah. catch a fish with him. <laughs> so you're going to head out there looking for some snapper, salmon, anything. We're going back for revenge. Yesterday, a big one gave away. We come back for him today. We're going to try. So we catch him. Today, not so much. Sun is shining. Sea is calm for now. Water is crystal, crystal clear with the sun. All right, guys, we back out for revenge today. Yesterday, I actually came. I never ever do this fish two days in a row, but yesterday I came, hooked a real nice salmon. Jump in the kayak and fall back out. See, I put on my glove today. It's not happening today. We come back for revenge. I come back to look for that fish. Or oh, a similar fish to it. We had two hours again. Had a little delay this morning. Um, had no kayaks available. But whatever the case is, we're out here now. Today, conditions are totally different. Sun shining, flat calm water for now. So we're going to get them at two hours. I have all kind of bait. 
start any fresh game early. Trunk my anchor and I'll show you about training for fresh. Yeah. We'll be going target, decent sized fish. I rig back up my banking line, bigger hooks. I want to get a nice fish today. Two hours to do it. Let's see how it goes. So we start with fresh. Hello, plum head fillet session. Just dropping it. I have plenty like that to throw out, so just want to get some scent in your water. Using the same old Joshua, so it's very soft, even softer than yesterday. Do have some live bait. So, we're trying, that's what we come here to do. First thing I want to do is put on a couple live bait, throw it out, then we'll use the banking line with the Joshua. I have this little rig, this was the one I was yesterday, I make a fresh rig, so we'll keep this in case line was. So I actually caught a couple of these uh, flinch so we're gonna throw that out for bait now this is a famous stingery bait I'm hoping a stingery will find it hoping a redfish find it you never know until we throw it out right so we'll see how it goes Keeping this drag slack. Something to skate off. And this we can put on one of these. Okay, truly knows. Conditions are so different today. <laughs> like it's just flat cap. Yesterday was just rollers. Alright, on this one we're gonna put on some cut bait. I do have one bigger hooks, like I said. Because the salmon that got away yesterday is what I'm targeting. He ain't gonna mind bigger hooks. We ain't getting no snapper bite yesterday, but we're on the lines gonna be for the snappers. This will be for the salmon. So now you see how it goes. Oh yeah. All right, I think we are a little further than where we was yesterday. Um, hopefully catfish give our ease up. So we start off here and walk our way closer, further. Two hours, get something nice. Alright guys, I left my GoPro working with it on. Something took this bait on the rod. This was a flinch. A flinch. I hope it's working. But this feels like a good fish. Light bait. Oh yes, we got the fish. They got away yesterday. Not today. Not today. Not today.
hope the camera is working. I hope it's working. He's gonna keep back for that same fish right there beating up. Let me organize myself so he don't jump out. One second, guys. One second. Don't want the fish in the boat to come out again. So we go take we time. We go take we time. This empty rod holder out of the way. <laughs> this is specifically what I came back for. This fish right here. Take a look at it. Well, he's still smaller than the one that get away. Nine, about 14 inches. Yes. Let's see, I hope this book works. Catfish have been biting as frequently, but they're still biting one one. I uh, caught about four so far. Uh, the GoPro is still not. Uh, the four plus two is six. GoPro still not working properly. But I'll show you what I can show. Double catfish. Continue going on. Alright, guys, I just want some that could change the game. Reached in the back. I brought a whole set of parcels of old um, filet fish, whatever I had in the freezer to throw as, as chum. I found. I throwed some as chum. Then I found this bag. That was in a chum bag, but it's shrimp. <laughs> so um, that could change the game. That could change the game. Salmon like shrimp. Um, everything like shrimp. So we have how much time gone so far? I'm um, just about an hour gone. We catch quite a few catfish. Um, the one nice salmon. So we have an hour again. See if we can make something happen. I mean, that's a big bonus. I mean, that was I wasn't expecting that. I know I had another flinch when we caught the salmon. I was searching the bucket, searching back. I, like, I don't know if he fall out or what. I like to pay him on as lightweight, but I have to blinch in the long pencil one. So we'll see those. Give them out for five minutes. I might pass shrimp on one of the line too. Because we know the redfish love that. But hopefully the GoPro start to work now. End up switching batteries. Luckily I had the next one. So we'll see how it goes. First bites with the sh shrimp bait, guys. Like a peck, peck, peck. And that one, wow, first bite to the shrimp bait. Could this be a catfish, you know, but you always have hope for something else. Could be a nice catfish. You looking? No? The old Grontosaurus Rex. Spiny Grunt. You see the shrimp bait? I didn't catch any of these yesterday. Put this drop with your shrimp bait, makes a difference. We don't eat this, so we will go back. That's right. Could change our species. Got plenty small bites, um, but the catfish like they didn't take it, so which is good, 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 good. Let's see what happens again. Second bite with your shrimp bait here, guys. Similar to the first one. Grantosaurus Rexamos. Pick, 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 pick. Got a probably boss has strike there. Could be a smaller one. Water now starting to wake up a little bit. Started pretty late this morning, so it's about 9 30 now. Interesting the condition of taking this, but the grunts taking it. Such a difference. Oh, this one's like a trash one. Oh, and to be an honest, you help it, boy. Lots of catfish, guys. They started finding the shrimp and take it. Possibly be our next one pulling a little hardish. So it could be a decent one, or could be a rocky. Or it could be too. Wait, what is that for this morning, boy? Alright, guys, catfish that pressure. Alright, guys, in between the last catfish and this one, probably catch about 10. 
Pony camera to show you this one because a different kind of catfish. The old seal cat. Check out how long the fins are. Seal catfish. These get decent size and they taste pretty good. If I get a big one, maybe about a two pound. We go feeling. I now make a fresh with some old cuttings I had from some fillets from Almaco Jacks around for one piece. Be fresh. I don't know. That in the freezer. I don't know how long. But we're gonna try it for two throws. See the fish eating the fresh down there. They might see this. I think it's part of the fresh. I don't know if it could stay on very long, but I'm sure the catfish could take it, unfortunately, but... So we have no bait. And if you gain your fish, keep all the ends, all the cuttings, you can come and use it for bait. You see what happened? I see the stingrays jumping, and I was unsure already watching out. That wasn't like a just jump, like something play though, I don't know. Look how I eat my salmon floating there. Uh -huh. I can't water about it this time. Two catfish, as expected. Alright, just make a little quick stop right before I head in, very close in shore. See if we still have catfish so close, so maybe next time I'll know if they're coming a little closer. But of course, yes, they still have catfish. So, heading back in now, 1000 catfish caught. Very good. Alright, I'll get you on shore. Alright, guys, reach back on shore. Semi successful mission, we went for the salmon after the gateway. Catch more. Some live bits still inside here too. Um, and check these guys in here. We survived the whole trip. Didn't use any of them. They're living as good as possible. So like I said, they went in our glass bottle and we tried. I can't release them now. Living as good as ever, guys. Back to the house. It's a bottle with some holes in it. I've never seen so much grass so close to shore in Karanash. The little break that people that got from people coming and stepping on it like I am doing now. For our brother, this grass is very important for the fish population. You can look closely, there's a snapper right there. Control piece of bait there. That is awesome to see. Check him out right there. I say semi successful, we catch one salmon, level catfish again. Um, we try, but that's how we fishing goes. I'm ready to get a little food out. So next time I go to a little food, I came back looking for the salmon today. So that's why I try so close in. We'll go about a little food, I feel like we reds next time. Um, we'll see if we get some better bait. Fresh bait is always important. So we'll see how it goes. If you guys enjoy this episode of Coast and Fishing, till the next one, keep fishing, fish. He ain't too big, he ain't too big, but. Take it him. You must. <laughs> you must scale him and got in for you. Oh, yeah, I'll handle it. I'll bring it back for you now. Yeah, plenty catfish, boy. We ain't cooking nothing today, guys. I promise you guys have fish. This is the only other little fish I catch. So we just go and get my quick scale and drops. Someone is easy to
I don't think I've got any but... Quick. Take one of the live bits, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, let's go. Is that salmon? Salmon. Yeah. Right. Cooking here, anyhow you want. This tastes good. Nice fish. I'm eating for one. <laughs> 